Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 setup for today. Hopefully today works out better than yesterday. Sorry, new laptop. Uh, busy trying to get it set up, and I see the com the uh, file the format that I used to upload to YouTube lost the audio. So anyway, um, it was a big up and down day yesterday. So we've had uh, we had a gap, and the instance of yesterday was that I uh, wasn't going to get into it until we had the gap close, and there it is there. So one thing that bugs me though is we still have this structure here that needs to be tested. So um, there is still a possibility for a move to downside. However, uh, when you look at this on the daily, you can see tells the upside, tells the downside, Bob wire. And we are in an upward trend. Have a look at the oscillators. Look at the diversions here from this previous swing low to this one. Obviously, we need to break above this pin bar before we start getting too excited. Uh, but there is the structure we need to get above there. And you can see the oscillators, diversions, everything here is leading towards this being a flag that is forming. So again, you'll see it on the hourly quite clearly. Down, big up, one bar down, couple of up, two bars down, and then up again. So we have to break through the structure to the upside before we can say um, this downward trend has broken. At the moment on the eight hour, we do have a crossover of the slower moving averages, but we are above the 155 EMA, so well, 150 EMA, sorry. And um, that is indicating we are in a range. Diversions here as well. So all those diversions on the higher time frames just leads to one thing. Don't get stuck in shorts. And you can see three hour has diversions as well. Uh, we have crossed over the moving averages and we're coming back to test these areas, but I'm definitely not looking for shorts here. Uh, I think um, the safer bet, you may have a bit of a pullback onto structure, but the safer bet at the moment that there's something brewing and our next target is going to be this gap to the upside. So um, there is a pin bar around there. There it is there. Uh, big tail here as well, but uh, that's the top that I'd be targeting and you can see the interaction with that. And that is 45.83. So game plan for today and you can see yesterday was pretty much one-way traffic to the downside so game plan for today is we're looking for an area of structure now i'm looking for some kind of support looking for this flag to play out and i'm also looking for um, a lower or oh, sorry a higher high a higher low we'll get it right eventually so looking at it at the hour it looks like we're probably going to come back which is what i'm looking for to be honest there is structure down here. There is structure right there. That's another tail, which is what we're rejecting at the moment. And now when we get down to the 50 minute, we have our levels in. So the first level that we would want to see breaking is this one right here, which is 4508. And you will see at 4500, which I'm assuming is around there, that's 4504. Let's just get 4,500 in, which is probably there. That's close enough. And just want to make sure there's no structure. Oh, there is structure here. Okay, so let's just move that down. Right, there we go. Okay, so we've uh, moved pretty strongly to the upside. We do have a little gap to the downside and another one right here at this area. So any pullback down to this area, 44.87 or 88, that is going to be something to watch for a buying opportunity. I'm of the opinion you're probably going to get a wider range here. And uh, there may just be a little bit of a another move down that far. So this 4,500 area is what I'd be watching today. We do have a crossover of all the moving averages on the 15 minute. So this is where our early warning comes in. So we do find a base here at 4,500. And I'm going to be looking for inside bars, engulfing bars, or pin bars. Uh, if it is an inside bar or an engulfing bar, I'm looking for a double bottom formation on 4,500. Uh, 4, and it's going to need to be exact. So in other words, like this pin bar here. You can see those three are 
typical setup of what we'd be looking for. Anyway, that's kind of my view. And the second one would be, if I don't get that, then I'm looking for a break and retest of 45.08. And we are targeting uh, these highs up here, which is 45.23, which is basically that open gap that is there at the moment. Okay, I hope it helps. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.